What a Digital has been showcasing their breathtaking work on the big screen for nearly 25 years now. With a wide array of works ranging from fantastical creatures to lifelike apes, I can confidently say that they are the best in the business. What is What a Digital? They're a visual effects company that was co-founded by Academy Award winning director Peter Jackson. The company has served as a visual effects team on many of his films such as Heavenly Creatures, The Lord of the Rings movies, and King Kong. Their portfolio also extends farther than that, bringing to life James Cameron's world of Pandora and Avatar, Andy Serkis' Caesar and the Planet of the Apes reboot trilogy, and even other Disney properties like Avengers Infinity War, Guardians of the Galaxy, and The Jungle Book. They are based out of New Zealand, far away from many of the other companies in the West Coast such as Industrial Light and Magic. This distance could not represent the difference in quality any better. Instead of just animating, What a Digital often works with performance capture, a technology that tracks the actor's movements and expressions which gives the VFX artist a template to animate off of. Everything put on screen is photoreal, rivaling something you'd find in a nature documentary. This performance capture technology is on the rise, and with people such as Andy Serkis opening up their own performance capture studios to push the boundaries of the technology, it isn't going away anytime soon. Avatar, the highest grossing movie of all time, was made almost exclusively with performance capture, and James Cameron has four sequels planned. He not only brought the technology to the forefront of Hollywood, but is even rumored to be testing it underwater for the Avatar sequels. If you think about where Weta has come from, they started trying to mimic Andy Serkis' face with Gollum, one character in a large-scale movie. Now they are creating entire jungles and planets along with every critter in between as seen in Avatar and the Jungle Book. They don't actively make movies themselves, but serve more as a service to other films. For example, Josh Brolin does performance capture footage, then Marvel sends the footage to Weta for them to bring Thanos to life, they send the footage back to Disney to distribute across theaters. So while they aren't completely independent, they do have lots of power and prestige among the industry, having won multiple Academy Awards for their visual effects work. If someone were to start at Weta, they would probably begin as either a basic VFX artist or a software engineer. After working for a while, showing proficiency in your respective field, a stretch job would be more specialized with maybe a fur artist or a senior engineer. Once proving to be a master at your specified field for multiple films, you could find yourself being a creative lead or project manager being in charge of other VFX artists and software designers on other projects. For those wanting to start, a lot of experience in 3D animation would be something important to have. They also have several resources on their website to help guide you on the process to becoming a better VFX artist yourself. Now, why am I so interested in this? While I did say I would like to become a director and writer, I hold What a Digital close to my heart. Not only have they brought to life some of my favorite movies that inspired me to want to become a filmmaker in the first place, but they do it so well. Four of the five feature-length screenplays I've written rely heavily on motion capture performances, and I wouldn't trust anyone but What a Digital to bring my movies to life. I see performance capture as the next frontier of Hollywood. It allows us to do things that have never been done before. Of course, we had prosthetic makeup in the 60s, but now we have the ability to showcase realistic creatures on a scale never seen before in cinema, and what a digital is responsible for how far we've come. I mean, I'd much rather have this over this any day. I have no doubt that the Avatar sequels won't be technical masterpieces because what a digital has delivered nothing less so far. The future isn't behind a chroma keying effect, but in a real performance put on for the masses. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a like on the video. And if you really liked it and want to see more similar content, consider subscribing. Also, be sure to check out that video. But if that video is not your style, then definitely check out that video. We hope you all have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.